Hello, everybody out there. My name is Tony, and well, we are the Hookup on Music, and we are glad that you've decided to join us tonight. We are glad to be here. Let me just tell you, I'm glad to be here, even though, well, less than 10 minutes ago, right outside, I slipped on some ice, busted my knee, busted my face. The great thing about uh, everything is, is that I need to get you this show so it will be there at 7 p.m. when you are listening to it. And no matter what is falling in my way, because let me tell you, no pain can stand in the way of getting you a great show. And tonight we have a lot, a lot of good stuff. We got 2024 albums that will be released or CDs or cassettes, whatever you want to call them or downloads or whatever. Um, we've got uh, we've got some documentaries that are going to be hitting the shelf that are really, 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 really awesome. Um, we might throw in a Keith Moon story. We may have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But to uh, kind of get started a little bit, we're going to uh, head right on the highway and not, not kind of miss a beat. Well, let's get started with what are you listening to? What am I listening to? What are we listening to? Oh, well, there's quite a lot that we're always listening to here. Um, just this week, okay, um, per instance, um, a song by a band that I enjoy quite a bit, a band that you may know about, at, know, know them as, um, Tool is the name of this band. Um, they went ahead and said, hey, you know what? Uh, you know, we, we got a song. It's been a while, but here you go. Schism, can you believe it? It's been, well, it's, it's been some time since it's been released. Um, here to me, I'm thinking is, you know, it's, it's well, you know, 2001. Wow. That's when um, this song was released. And it was the first song from um, the album um, Tool. It was released on January 15th. But uh, that being said, I remember before the song's release, all they would have were little one second clips of that bass line that you just heard right there. And it brings to mind that I would sit and listen to these one second clips and just imagine and, and think of what is this album going to sound like? Is it going to sound like Anima? Uh, Lateralis was a completely um, different experience, um, an amazing experience. Um, but just, just looking back that since 2001 is when Schism came out, doesn't feel like a song that came out that long ago. Um, it feels newer. Maybe that's why they call it progressive because it feels like it should be a little bit, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it should have been in our lives a lot, lot, lot sooner than that. But it uh, came in 2001 and it's still, still in my life pretty, pretty prevalently. Um, you know, that being said, there's something else that I wanted to, 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 to definitely, definitely have you here to get started. You know, what? why not? Also been thinking about that quite a lot lately. If you do not have a chance and have not yet, please, 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 please head on down to, well, anywhere you look at your videos and try to look at that Lou Reed walk on the wild side from Farm Aid. Uh, let me just tell you, it's, it's quite different than the uh, studio version in which maybe you're used to. Um, it, it really, really, really grooves. Not that the studio version does not groove, but uh, it, 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 it grooves. It grooves, you know. So check that out. I just can't get enough of that video. I saw it pop up on, on a feed recently, and I was like, wow. Um, a lot of things pop up online. Uh, recently, a lot of people were looking at great albums that, uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for, have like black and white covers, you know, and there's quite, quite. It was mute. I should not be unmuted. I was muted. They tried to mute me. I am no longer muted. But what I was trying to say was, is albums with black and white covers. Johnny Cash has got a real good one with a black and white cover. Um, I deem it to be, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Pretty, 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 pretty good. Um, you know, if you did not see this, though, it's pretty like STP. They got uh, volume four. That's a black and white cover. That's a that's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool one. Um, it's cool to see, though, how some people try to stretch the whole black and white thing, like bringing up tools. Someone tried to say Enema was a black and white cover. It had uh, just... A, 
just a tad bit of color in there. I don't want to to get in the way of that. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to say no color, okay, no color, and just just a lot, uh, just 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 pure cover, black and white. That's that's what we're kind of looking for here, you know. But NWA, their greatest hits album, quite 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 no color in that album, which is well what you're looking for. Um, New Order, Substance, 1987. We're going to get to a little bit more of them. Um, you know, Social Distortion's got an album that is black and white. I think that's pretty cool. Um, just, again, the stretching. Revolver, okay. Um, the Beatles, definitely black and white cover. Definitely included in this list. Um, you know, but what does deem a black and white cover? That's for everybody to decide. What matters is, is there good interaction with great, great, great people talking music. And that's why we're here. So please, please, please uh, hit that like and subscribe button because we we appreciate, um, well, we appreciate you being here tonight. We appreciate you coming back. And next week, don't forget, we're going to be live. Um, we're going to be back live again. The live jam will be back every two weeks like I was stating. But uh, tonight... Let's get to some of our, our goodies of what we got here. Um, oh, a lot of documentaries are on the front from what I gather that will be released in this upcoming year. Um, music documentaries, that is. A Devo. I just heard this. Devo is going to have a documentary coming out this next year. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to be at the forefront to see this because I am a huge Devo fan. Um, a band from Akron, Ohio. Great tracks. You may know them as Whip It, but. Go deeper, go deeper into their their catalog because you will not be disappointed. Um, itchy swelling brain is one I would definitely definitely suggest to to dig in. But just just an all around great band that I want to learn a little bit more from. Okay, personally, I want to know a little bit more of uh, what is going in and what is going down in in, in that in that in that degree. So I'm I'm definitely definitely going to be in line to check out. Um, that documentary, as I am with, um, you know, with this next gentleman's um, documentary that's coming out, and it's Brian Eno. If you're not familiar with Brian Eno, uh, <clears throat> I'm sure you are because he has had to probably have touched something that you enjoy musically. Um, he's always been known to to just just be a, a, a I want to keep saying Sven Gulli, the the horror icon. But a Svengali is what I'm looking for, and that's exactly what he is. Um, we're Svengulis, they're Svengalis, we're also Svengalis and Svengulis. Svengali, Svenguli. quite to try to say that quick, say sk schism Svenguli, Svengali. I'm not even saying it correctly there. But Brian Eno, then again, having this documentary out is pretty, pretty cool um, to get a little bit deeper into his, you know, with. I love these. I'm sure Devo will have it too, but this is going to have loaded with archival footage, um, live footage, unreleased recordings from the vault. I love when they say from the vault. Um, you know, it, it, it's cool to not know a lot about, well, either one, I know a little bit here, a little bit there, but these documentaries, you really, 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 really got to, got to go a little bit deeper in there to, um, you know, to say, hey, you know, what's more into this that 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 I could learn about? This one, you know, this one could be interesting. The, you know, it's called The Greatest Night in Pop. This is going to be an interesting documentary. It's going to be, well, in uh, 1985, Joe and Asa, who's who's superstars, to come together to sing We Are the World. This is a, a pretty much a behind-the-scenes um, could have everyone talking from Springsteen, it looks like, to Lionel Richie, everyone giving their opinions. Um, just trying to get everybody's schedule together, I'm sure, was just crazy and hectic. But uh, that's pretty much, you know, some 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 things that you would probably be like, well, more into what you didn't know. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um more into what you didn't expect from from this whole entire in this whole entire thing. So I would say uh it's it's definitely going to be awesome those three documentaries. Check them out. Brian Eno, Devo, and that we are the world documentary. Um look out for those. And I'm sure when they drop when we see them we will drop them for you and and give you a little bit more into that. Um 
a lot of new bands, a lot of new artists, a lot of new music. I'm going to be coming up this year, and we're going to be at the forefront of it. You got anything out there that you want to share with us? I just please, 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 please let us know because we're going to share it with everybody out there. You share it with us, we'll share it with you. And we really appreciate when you share stuff with us because, well, you got to share a little something. You know, we're sharing, share, 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 share. Um, you know, just just today I got this, this this song that was shared with me. I thought it was really, 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 really awesome. Um, Jamie Webster's Sing Your Tears. Check that out. Really, really cool. Um, also was was given to us too. Um, Gabe's Lee's Drink the River. Check these out. Okay, they're thrown out to us. We check them out. We're throwing them out to you. Um, you please check them out. Um, but big releases that were coming out, you know, Sleater Kinney. Uh, this Friday, Little Rope. It's going to be their first new LP since 2021's Path of Wellness. Going to be interesting to see what is going to be in this album. Um, unfortunately, singer guitarist Carrie Brownstein has lost her mother and stepmother in a car accident. Um, unfortunately, the tone of the album changed when this happened, and I'm, I'm just curious to just hear what they have working. Um, Green Day Saviors coming out January 19th. Um, everybody is always curious of what Green Day's up to, but uh, news out of their camp today is that they're going to be playing the full albums of Dookie and American Idiot on this new tour. Sounds like it's going to be a long night. Get ready for some Dookie because I do enjoy Longview. Um, Pumpkins are opening up, should be a halfway decent show, but their new album is right around the corner. Saviors on the 19th, okay. Um, they feel like they drifted a little too much into pop territory on their new last album. So this one is rock and roll, rock and roll, and how they're rock and roll survivors. Um, Dookie co-producers back on board, Rob Cavello. Um, curious, 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 curious to, to see and, and hear a little bit more on how this is going to um, sound and how it's going to um, evolve. Um, the Smile, a, a great, great, great little bit of a side band with uh, Dom York. Um, Johnny Greenwood um, and drummer Tom Skinner. Um, those first two are from Radiohead, if you're not familiar. Um, but a, a band that is just got a, a, just got just got good sounds going on. Um, kind of kind of hold you off till Radiohead. Their new album, Wall of Eyes, January 26th. The Smile. Please, 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 please check that out. Um, this next artist. Don't know what's going on with um, Alabama Shakes. It seems to be like they're uh, put on hold indefinitely, but that's okay because Brittany Howard's got a brand new record coming out, and uh, we're going to also dig into that when that comes out February 2nd. What now? Um, some good stuff. Heard, heard, the, heard a track on the radio. I'm always interested in what she's doing. Um, this is, again, interesting to, to, to see – where she's working um, so far removed from that Alabama shake sound. Um, but she's assured and she's ready to rock. And on this new album, she's definitely, definitely, definitely going to be doing that. Um, which is what we want. We want, we want our artists doing things like this, this summer we dipped into dinosaur junior. We've talked about them quite a bit. Okay. But leader on his fourth, fifth solo album, Jay Massis. Okay. Um, Kind of curious to see um, some acoustic guitars going on on this album um, with, with, with some overdubbed electric guitars wailing behind them. It's the track called Right Behind You. Um, really kind of cool to see, again, this artist just kind of just kind of make his way out there and just kind of do his thing and just always, 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 always produce some good work. And, you know, we're always here at the Hookup on Music going to check out that kind of stuff because, well, well, that's what we're here for. We're here to check out good music, and well, that's that's what we want want to do, and we want to keep doing that um, continuously as we um, move forward on this journey. Um, but you know, a lot a lot of albums. Okay, um, we talked about them last week on the live um, show. Tanked, I think I've pronounced it right. It's going to be the new album. Um, from Idols, which we're curious to hear a new song called Gift Horse just dropped really really good first song dancer dropped catchy 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 stuff um make sure you're going to be checking out that album when it becomes released february 16th so right around the corner uh, on that i'm looking forward to that 
Um, you know, looking forward to MGMT. You familiar with MGMT? It might have been a little while since you've heard something from them. Um, but, you know, MGMT is a band who, well, there's someone who always, for me, um, always going to be kind of curious. Just because when I first heard this song. Great, great, great. Again, great artists, great, great, great band. They got a new album. Okay. I'm um, going to be hitting, 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 hitting everywhere. Um, February 23rd, Loss of Life. Uh, Mother Nature, the song that I've listened to, does just, well, it's, it's, it's all pop. It's nothing like what you've heard before, which is key to a good band. Moving forward <coughs> and just 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 doing good things just 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 making those moves making those magic which is exactly you know where our next art is jesus and mary chain kind of curious to see what this new album sounds like because the first song i heard on it uh off of glass cow eyes it's gonna be the name of this album um it's been a while since they've come out with an album too and it, it's it's curious that what i've heard so far off of this album um you know uh it's called one song's called Jam Kai. It's just a really, really, really nice to hear a band just kind of fit back into the shoes in which they've always worn. Um, I like a band that fits into the shoes that they've always worn. Um, you want your bands to do that. Judas Priest, they're gonna be back March 8th. They're back and they're heavy. Um, lead single panic attack was really pretty good. Um, big, big heavy charge. Um Really, 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 really. It's, it's it's cool that Rob, man, his voice never never goes away. Rob Alford, lead singer. Um, but it's their nineteenth album. Nineteen albums. Wow, nineteen albums. That's if that's not a, a, a what I would call just an all around awesomeness. You know, who who can you really be? You know, you could be the Black Crows. Didn't even know they had a new album that they were making. Um, Happiness Bastards, a 10-track album. Um, cool. They uh, headed on down to a little bit. Uh, you can see they've been, they have worked in Nashville. And uh, they got a, a producer, Jay Joyce. Okay, he's worked with Eric Church, Miranda Lambert, even Cage the Elephant. So quite a variety there. But first track I heard, um, go on down and, and check this out, okay? Um, it's curious that a band that, that broke up for so long gets back together and, and you're putting together this, this, this quality of, of work, but you know, Hey, this is the black crows we're talking about here. We're not talking about, uh, you know, some slouch of a band who hasn't, who hasn't paid their dues. We're talking about the black crows and the black crows. They put out good music, lots and lots of good albums. Um, not just a couple one hit wonders, um, you know, wanting and waiting, you know, that is the track of their new um of their new album. And I've listened to it once and right listened to it, liked it right away. If you're a Black Crows fan, you're going to, I think, also also enjoy it. Um also coming out with a new album. I don't know. Didn't do much research, but uh Lenny Kravitz has got a new album, Blue Electric Light. Okay, and what I mean I didn't do much research is that I didn't do much research of well, when his his last album came out because I completely didn't even know Lenny's making albums, but you know, some of those old albums, there's this album, the one that came right after, are you going to go my way? It was called circus. Okay. Title track circus. Another track rock and roll is dead. Um, I, Lenny, Lenny could bring it even going back further to some of those earlier tracks. I've always been a let love rule. I've always been a big Lenny fan. So maybe Lenny's got some goods on this new album. Um, Blue electric light, March 15. Check that out. The crow's album is March 15 too. You're going to want to check both of them out. Um, another band with uh, Black in the title is the Black Keys. They're back. And uh, they flirted with blues. And now, well, they're getting into DJ sets um, from what I've been hearing. Um, and they've they've got some collaborators on this new album from the back to the to the, the back to back to Dan the Automator Nakamura. So it's. It's curious to kind of again see where this new album's going, okay? Because the first track I heard, it's it's got a funk to it. It's got a funk that's different than than maybe some of that blues that you're you're used to. Some of that 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 that, that more of that original from their first couple albums, uh, Black Keys, that you're used to. Um, the Cure, 
they're going to have a new album called Songs of the Lost World. No date on that yet. Um, you know, but he says it's almost done. It's because of vinyl. It might come in September. I'd rather just come out. I can't stand the anticipation. Maybe 2024 will be the final year. This is him back in, uh, you know, 2022 was saying this, that this album's coming out. So we're looking for it. Kerry King, he's put a band together and called it an extension of Slayer. Ooh, he didn't start any writing any cowboy ballads. That was a quote that I read in a magazine. That uh, That's what the, the author said. He said, we writing cowboy ballads. It's kind of stupid. Why would, why would Slayer write cowboy ballads? And you could make a better joke than that, maybe a disco song or something. I don't know. But I'm curious to the Carrie King album. I'm also curious that Vampire Weekend's got a, a new album coming out. Um, how's that going to sound? Um, Ten songs, no skips. It says it's their best album yet. This is uh, what Ezra has... Uh, been working on and this is what drummer chris thompson says that we have to look forward to is that uh it's going to be a really 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 good 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 um just just a good all around you know jam and you know i'm a big vampire weekend fan and i think they got quite 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 a lot of good songs so it's going to be interesting to see how this how this is gonna this is going to play out you know, what I wanted to do next here is we're going to spin here. We're going to spin a little something and we're going to, well, we're going to look a little deeper, deeper into an album tonight. We're going to start picking out albums and looking deeper into them. Um, you know, that's what we want to do here. So tonight, tonight's, tonight's, tonight's double groove. Um, is Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures. Okay, back to the black and white album covers. This was the one that I came up with because it was the first thing that came into my head. I just think that cover is incredibly amazing. But I think the album itself is also um, amazing. It's 39 minutes and 28 seconds, okay? It was recorded at, in, in Strawberry in Stockport, okay? When you think about it and you think back, it took 16 days to record this album. Okay, 16 days to record this album. To me, that's still, that's crazy. That's 15 songs. Okay, 16 days. Okay, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of great songs are on this album. Shadow Play, She's Lost Control, Disorder, New Dawn Fades, I Remember Nothing. The album itself sticks. It sticks because, well, many reasons. Um, it was their, well, their debut. Okay, so you're saying to yourself, well, I have most debuts do stick. So, Tony, you're not on anything new. But it was the only album released in lead singer Ian Curtis's lifetime, which earlier in the show we brought up New Order. It's interesting that this is, well, this was the only album released during his lifetime. Unfortunately, on the eve of their first American tour, um, he tragically lost his life. Um that being said, this is an album that when you go back and you listen to the lyrics and you kind of hear the story, also great, 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 great movie if you uh, get a chance. It's called Control. Great, great musical biography on Ian Curtis and Joy Division. But this album itself, Unknown Pleasures, it's definitely, if you're a fan of music and you have not sat down, or you, maybe you haven't, it's been a long time, Definitely worth getting back into. Um, New Dawn Fades is, is just awesome. Um, Bernard Sumner's guitar riff, um, that bass riff, that's what's cool about not only them, but New Order is the bass and the rhythm and just pretty much everything that was involved with the band just pretty much spoke to being like, this band is awesome. This band has what it takes to be around for a long, long, long time. And unfortunately... It just didn't make it just didn't happen that way. Um, you know, what did happen was is well, uh they went on to be New Order. But this Joy Division album, Unknown Pleasures, is definitely one that you're gonna want to uh, dig into more. Um, for many reasons, of course, but one of them being that it's uh, just a great album. Number two being the musicianship. Um, is definitely something that is bar none. Okay. Um, bar none to a lot of albums that you're going to sit down and listen to um, in your lifetime. So take some time and, and sit down and listen to it. Um, the legacy of it has lasted. 
Um, drummer Stephen Morris's beats from Peter Hook's bass, from Bernard Summer's guitars, and of course, the amazing um, Ian Curtis makes it definitely, definitely, definitely worth your time. So check that out. Um, before we go into what we have upcoming, I got a couple little things that we got here planned here at the end here. A couple little clips, a couple little this is, a couple little that's. I don't know if he knew what he was doing, but he knew what he was doing. You know, you see that sometimes. You know what you're doing. You don't really know what you're doing. Yeah, that was from one of our first episodes where I just talked a couple minutes about good old Keith Moon and how, well, he knew what he was doing and he didn't know what he was doing. And it kind of looked like he knew what he was doing. We don't really know. But tonight, we're going to dig into just a just a classic Keith tale. And every, every month, we're going to dig into maybe a, a tale here, a tale there. Here's tonight's tale. Wow. You know, you're saying to yourself, just, just, just that right there, exploding. Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. We've seen that so many, so many times. Um, one thing you don't know is Betty Davis, the actress, she is, is, is there in, in the background there. Betty Davis, classic actress. And Keith lights his drums on fire. Classic Keith, you know. We love Keith here. And, um, you know, him doing that was just, again, an, another thing that just made Keith, you know, Keith, 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 Keith. Um, you know, a lot of other things that they would do is uh, along with them was they would bring actual fire explosions and he would bring, okay, um, he, he would rig up a wire and pulley system for a gong that would have, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just, just kind of, uh, explosions going off. Okay. One time. Okay. They were trying to get Peter Frampton. Um, but he avoided becoming one of moon's targets, which if you think about that, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy to think about that. Uh, you know, Frampton and Keith moon were, 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 were mixing it up. You know, it's just, it's just, this year is going to be really, really good. I feel lots and 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 lots of good, 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 good stuff. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know if you're a fan, but you know, do a Lipa. She's got, she's, she's always a good listen to, if you're looking for something in the pop mart, you know, and something in that, in that, and it's different. Okay. It's not like the other stuff we've talked about tonight, but you know, give it a chance. Um, like I always say, there isn't a music that we should not give a chance to. Um, always looking deeper and always looking more into these artists is, well, why we're here, okay? It is one of the many, many words along with this one. Always the word is the bird. Um, but my thing to you tonight is, is that um, I want you to look and maybe there's some albums that I didn't talk about um, that I didn't bring up and I didn't mention. And I will. As soon as those come across the wire, we're going to say them for you so that you know and you have them for all those upcoming things. Um, you know, I appreciate you sitting around and, and taking the time out to listen to us. Um, you know, I appreciate you just, just always sharing and, and being well, how awesome and, and, and cool mu musical musical comrades that, that you are. Because you know what? When it really, really, really comes down to it, I want to say that uh, in this new year, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep making it stronger and bigger and, and, and better, okay? And if, if we can't do that, we're just going to keep trying because always music dropping, always cool stuff that is definitely um, on the wire. If you have not yet, um, please, please go back and check out last Friday's at the show. Um, we had a deep dive on the Godfather. It was an amazing time. Um, this Friday, we're doing Big Trouble, Little China. Lots of amazing music in that that we will be talking about and discussing, along with uh, some other gems and tidbits. Um, last night, if you have not checked out the um, It's Getting Drafty in Here episode, it was a great time talking some of the worst transactions in Chicago history. 
Um, if you haven't made it down to that website yet, statisticpenguinstudios.com, please do that. Please check out all of the hard work that we are um, putting into everything. Um, I know you are working hard out there too, um, working hard, spinning records, working hard, working. Um, like myself, please be careful out there on that ice. Um, I wanted to make a reference to Metallica's trapped under ice, but I was not trapped under ice. I just slipped on some ice and busted the old face, but I'm all good and uh, I'm okay. So my name is Tony. And as always here at The Hookup, we appreciate all of your time and we appreciate all of your your efforts in, in sharing with us the things that you love and us sharing with you. Um, check out some of those 2024 albums like we talked about in those documentaries. That Devo documentary is going to be awesome. Brian Eno, real excited for that Black Crows album. Um, a lot of those other ones too, Idols. Can't talk enough about Idols, but please, 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 everybody. My name's Tony. This is The Hookup on Music. And I want everybody out there to stay safe and we'll talk to you next week when we are live.